Hi guys and welcome back to my channel! This week I'm going to be doing a drawing review of the Remarkable 2 paper tablet. So this is the tablet and it comes with a case which also has storage for your pen. I did a review of the Remarkable paper tablet 1 in 2020 and that is video 54 if you want to look back. So this tablet is thinner than the one and it has just one button which is the button on the top to turn it on. It works in exactly the same way. The pen that my son bought he upgraded to have an eraser on the top but I actually using it I wouldn't bother upgrading. So this is a portrait I have done on this tablet and you notice I swiped the wrong way. And here are a couple of landscapes that I've done. I will show you these two again at the end because I want to show you what happens when you actually um, print off the pictures. Okay and this is one that I'm going to show you actually doing today. This is another one. So I'm going to do today two portraits and one landscape. And this is the landscape. Although I have drawn it in portrait orientation. So everything works in exactly the same way as on the first Remarkable tablet. You have a menu down the side and you choose your pen and the colour that you want to use, etc. And there's pens, markers, brushes, pencils. I've drawn most of this in pencil. The feeling of drawing on the tablet is, is good. Um, here I'm using the eraser. It's not great. I prefer to use the eraser on the menu and definitely wouldn't pay extra to have it. Now this picture that I'm doing here I actually did as a pencil sketch in video number 42 of mine. So if you want to look back and see the difference of doing it with the tablet or doing it as a pencil sketch then you can. Now, one thing I noticed, I've got the mouth and the nose slightly orientated too far to the left and I don't know whether you could draw a circle around it and move part of the picture to the right. That would be a definite improvement on working on paper, but I'm not sure whether it facilitates that or not. I'll have to have a try and let you know. It feels great to draw with, it's really nice. Um, you quickly get used to it. The only thing that I find with every drawing I've done on it, every sketch, is the fact that the greys are really difficult to establish. And when you come to print them out, the greys disappear completely. Apologies in this video that my head keeps poking in. I obviously didn't have the camera set right because that's never ever happened to me before. I do find, having used it a few times now, that I am getting used to uh, being able to shade more easily with it. So as everything, you improve the more you try. I will show you a comparison between this picture and the one I did in pencil at the end. And I will leave a link below to the video number 42 that I did as a sketch in graphite of this same image. And I find I am getting used to shading using the side of the pen. That does seem to work. 
to get more of the grey. And it does depend on how hard you press as to how light and dark your marks are. Just as it would with a real pencil. And here I'm just trying to show you how it looks when you actually shade things in. You have to bear in mind that this paper tablet was not designed for drawing. It was designed for note taking or downloading PDFs and annotating books. So this is not its primary function. And on the right is the original pencil sketch. Notice I did colour the eyes in blue. And here, the left hand one is the printout of the sketch from the paper tablet. Now I'm going to do another portrait. It's hard to breathe inside the door. I used to go home. Stuck in the world that I, I guess it's quite nice for doing things like hair. There's quite a nice texture for that. I try to change the way I see the world around me. But every time I end away. And I think, I'm not positive, but I think that you can work on layers. So you could like do the eyes in one layer and then if you didn't like them, you could just go back and change them without the fear of altering anything else on a different layer. And on the actual page, you can zoom into bits and work on those bits and then zoom out again and you can move around the page. If you look at my previous video, I did explain how that all works. And I will leave a link down below to that video, the previous review I did of the first tablet. You have to remember to turn off the menu bar at the side or else you can lean on it. You can, I think you can set it up the other way around, but my son who owns this tablet is left-handed so for him it's in the correct place his comment was he would have preferred that wide margin to have not been there or to have been on the right for him as a lefty you do get used to switching the menu off when i was doing working with the first tablet i kept forgetting but I don't think this time I really did forget as much so I think it's something that you get used to quite quickly the pencil tool gives a kind of a graphite finish whereas if you use the pen tool or the paintbrush you can get a solid color if that's the effect you want. But bear in mind, when I say colour, you actually only have three colours which you can use in the pen or the brush colours, which are black, grey and white. And if you use the white, you have to use it over the top of either black or grey, or else it's just the same colour as the paper. So just bear in mind that colours, I don't actually mean lots of colours. So again, this is the finished picture on the right and the printout of it on the left. Now I'm going to do a quick landscape. 
this is not Big Ben, this is somewhere in Wales. And I did find that I didn't use the eraser on the top. I preferred when I needed to erase something to use the eraser from the menu. And I have used a, a ruler just to get my lines straight and it works just the same as you would using paper. Now I did try using the ink pen at some point to see what the difference was and I discovered what the difference was. The line looks exactly the same but when you come to erase it you can't so you're stuck with it. So although the lines look the same you can't erase it so I would advise you not to use the ink unless you're really sure that you've got your lines in the correct place so it's it's just like real life drawing I guess and I think I will do some more sketches on it as far as using it as an artist for any finished artwork I don't think it really is up to it but as I said before that's not what it was designed for as far as illustration is concerned, I think that might be better using the pen and ink. Um, but it doesn't print off very well. You can email the files to your email account and then print them off as a PDF. But it does flatten out a lot of the greys. And what I found was my files that I had drawn on the previous tablet, or because my son used the same account, were stored on this tablet as well. So they all came up when we opened up the files. So they were still there. So I could have opened them up and started adding things to them. Again, apologies for the head bobbing in and out. And the first two pictures that I showed you, the two landscapes, I did actually film those, but I seem to have lost or overwritten the files of those, so I couldn't include those. If I find them, then I'll make another video. So this video is not really showing you how the tablet works. I did that in the previous review of the last Remarkable Tablet and they do work in the same way. Uh, but I just wanted you to see the sort of effects that you can get when you draw on the tablet. And I did find that the more I drew on it, the more I enjoyed drawing on it. And when my son returns from sea, I might have another go playing with it. It'll be interesting to see how it has stood up to his traveling with it, and how robust it is. Quite a difference, quite nice when your kids grow up and you can play with their toys. And I will be reviewing some of his other toys. He bought himself an Oculus 360 virtual reality goggles, and I did try out some art in inverted commas on that, so I will be making a video of that. So watch out for that on my channel in the future. I think if you were, if you bought one of these and you wanted to do some drawing on it, if you spend a day or two just playing, then you will soon get the hang of it. And I'm sure that you could produce something very nice.
And I think if you write on it, because it has lined pages and squared pages, then you can actually translate your writing into print to, and then email it to somebody. So if you have really poor handwriting, then that might be quite a clever way of doing it. If it can read it, of course. So it does have a lot of uses. And incidentally, this is not a paid for advert in any way. It's just me playing with my son's toys. So this video took me to do those three drawings. I think the video ended up being about four hours, 40 minutes long. So that's the reason I speeded it up because it would be very boring watching me draw in real time. So um, that's about the time it's taken me to draw those three pictures. I wish I could draw this fast though. That would make life so much easier. So if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. And if you go back to my video number 54 from March 2020 you can see my original review of the remarkable paper tablet which shows how all the buttons work and the pens and everything like that. This one doesn't have the three buttons at the bottom which were a page back and page forward and a home button. I actually quite miss those because I found I wasn't that good at turning the pages. So this is a close-up of the sketch and this is, I've sent it to my tablet and this is what it looks like. You've already lost quite a few of the greys. If you can see it's flattened it out and brought up the contrast, which is a shame. And this is the printout. So you lose even more, I feel, of the um, contrasts. So, on the left is the printout of the sketch and this is the one of the original ones that I didn't actually show me sketching. And on the left you can see how those greys in the roof have disappeared. And this is another one that I showed you at the beginning but again I didn't have the, the video of me doing the sketch. And here you can really see in that church tower how black it's gone. This one was one I did on the Remarkable one, as was this one. These were the two that I did on the review of the first Remarkable paper tablet. Happy New Year everyone, stay safe and well, see you next week, bye!